Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Before we get started, we'd like to give our praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh Shai. Hey, uh, double honors unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone who continue to rule well. That's right. And uh, much peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel. Uh, those of you who are of Negro or Native Indian descent, of North, Central, and South America, uh, the Caribbean islands, Alaska, and Canada. Also spread throughout the four corners of the earth uh, due to the scattering of our iniquity That's right. by the Heavenly Father himself. Unto the elect of you, we say Shalom. Shalom. And, uh, Shalom is a Hebrew word for peace. So may peace be upon you and your loved ones here in these last days. Uh, uh, Lord willing, uh, the brother and I will get into this lesson, um, and the title will be uh, No Cross, No Crown, okay? Uh, no Cross, No Crown, and I feel that through the Spirit, that's a fitting title because uh, all brothers are feeling the, uh, the weight of uh, bearing their cross here in Babylon the Great, mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, the amount of stress uh, we go through day to day. Uh, whether it be from the job or from, from family matters, uh, finances, uh, what have you. Uh, it's a uh, pressing uh, upon our spirit right now. Okay, but as the saying goes, uh, no pain, uh, no gain. That's right. Okay, so without one, there, there is no uh, ladder. So no cross, no crown. And uh, uh, I mean that through the spirit, man. First and foremost, for myself. And to whoever may be listening out here. That's right. And, uh, Lord willing, this will be an edifying and exhorting uh, lesson uh, to the hearer. That's right. So we're going to begin here in uh, St. Matthew, the 16th chapter. So this is the book of uh, St. Matthew, uh, chapter 16, beginning at verse 24. It says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me okay if any man being an israelite man okay preferably uh those of the elect all right if you desire to follow after hamashayak yahushai there's a uh, some prerequisites for you to uh implement in your life man okay first and foremost the lord said to deny yourself man okay then to pick up your cross and to follow after him all right now the cross itself is a uh, is a uh, symbolic in nature. Right. Even though it was a uh, physical instrument that was used in the uh, in the death of our Lord and Savior for His sacrifice for the elect of our nation and the, uh, the the nation as a whole, but symbolically, it's a uh, symbol of self denial. Okay, uh, we're uh, symbolically exposing ourselves to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, also. It's a, uh, a, a symbol for us to cheerfully and manfully uh, endure uh, persecutions, uh, distresses, and, um, and troubles, as I have here in my notes, man. Okay? Uh, it's all symbolic. Can you read that again, bro? Okay. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 16, beginning at verse 24. This is red letter. These are the words of Yahweh Shai. And it says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Okay, and to deny yourself means what? To deny uh, uh, your your uh, your lust. Okay. Fleshly desires. Fleshly desires. All right. Uh, whatever it may be, man. It, uh, but uh, more importantly, those that may hinder uh, your walk in, right. in this ministry, man. Now, if you have anything, say you jump right in. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you, you're on the roll, bro. You know? uh, so. Um, you have to, de to deny yourself, all right? And in another place in the Gospels, uh, the Lord said to uh, deny yourself and pick up your cross daily. So this isn't a, 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 a one-time uh, thing. This is a, uh, just like your, the job you go to day in, day out, this, uh, this uh, self-denying uh, act of righteousness is a, uh, a, a daily job as well, man. That's right. Okay, there is no days off, as the uh, the apostles and the elders say in this, in this in this walk, man. And to further uh, validate that point, that's why the scriptures tell you, 
to examine thyself daily, whether you be in the faith. Because once you come into this thing, you literally have to repent and turn back, which is what that word goes to. Okay, you can't continue living the same life you lived before you woke up to this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, that would be like and to being lukewarm. You have to make a conscious decision through the spirit, man. And that means denying yourself and putting off those things that may have hindered you from growing in the spirit. Okay? Like, like the brother was saying, denying those fleshly lusts and fleshly desires. You know, whatever they may be. Because we all have different vices in this thing that may hinder us from putting our best foot forward. Okay, and we owe it to you, how about Shimei Shai, to do just that. Because what we have coming for us, it can't even be explained properly. No. You know, it's not worthy to be compared with the trials and tribulations we go through now. That's how great and glorious the future is for us that are doing this work in truth and sincerity. Lord willing, we remain to the end. That's right. And, uh, uh, want me to continue on? Uh, or, or you can read it again. Read 24. Con, con. Book of St. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Okay, and uh, we're taking up that cross, as I wanted to before. Uh, it's symbolic of you cheerfully and manfully being willing to endure persecutions, distresses, and troubles. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we're following the Lord, uh, persecutions will follow, man. Okay? In uh, many forms, uh, shape, and fashions, man. All right, that that is a uh, a, a, a given. It's a it's a mandatory uh, reaction from your action of following the Lord. Sure. Okay, and to prove that, uh, let's get Second Timothy three and four. Bro. This is the book, Second Timothy, chapter three, verse twelve, and it reads, "Yea." And all that will live godly in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. So if you if you are living or are, are striving to live a righteous life in, in the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, you will suffer persecutions. Not 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 maybe, not uh, possibly. You will suffer persecutions, man. Okay, and uh, rightfully so though, because the Lord uh, Himself had to endure uh, chastisement. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, persecutions, uh, being beaten, uh, spat on, and ultimately nailed to that cross uh, for our sake, man. You know? So, persecutions is a must in this walk. But there's a, a um, rainbow at the end of that uh, uh, stormy cloud, so to speak, man. Okay? Because we're not just going to suffer persecutions for no reason. Uh, the persecutions is uh, meant to uh, uh, purify us uh, in this fleshly body for now so that our spirit can be strengthened and uh, 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 transformed to the point where we're uh, worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Shai to receive uh, that crown, okay? Because as I said before, uh, no cross, uh, no crown, man, okay? So with the persecutions, uh, at the end of that, uh, is the is a crown, man? You know? Right. Con, uh, we're still in the book. Uh, Second Timothy. We're gonna go to chapter two, and the headline about chapter two reads an exhortation to perseverance. So this is Second uh, Timothy chapter two, beginning at verse three. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life." And that's a hard thing to do. You know, being in this flesh, but that goes into uh, denying yourself and denying your, your flesh in this walk, okay? Because as brothers uh, often mention, uh, we're not regular civilians here uh, in this world, man. Let alone uh, here in Babylon the Great, okay? Where we're uh, spiritual soldiers sent here on, on a, a, a very grave mission, man. And that mission is to uh, uh, win souls. Uh, uh, Lord willing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right. It says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Because uh, uh, in doing so, to endure hardness as a good soldier, we are pleasing the one who chose us to be a soldier, man. If you in endure the hardness that is uh, uh, brought upon you. Because uh, what does the scripture say in, uh, I'll pull it right now, uh, in the book of Sirach, the second chapter. Jump back to that, bro. Come. In the 
book of Sirach, chapter 2. Again, that verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptations. Okay? It says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Okay? But the point is to uh, prepare your soul because uh, temptation will follow uh, when you when you uh, uh, commit your life to serving the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And um, as it says here, like to make not haste in time of trouble because the trouble that you you will be uh, experiencing is brought upon you from the heavenly father himself right. uh, through through our lord and savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach as a as a as a test man as a purifying agent mm -hmm. so you can understand that's right this is back in second timothy chapter 2 um, verse 5 it says and if any and if a man also strive for masteries yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully mm -hmm. And the reason I brought that out is once you come to serve the Lord, you have to do it the way the Lord says to do it. You can't come any which way and do it the way you feel or the way you think. Yahweh Shem HaShah requires specifics, man. Okay, and part of those specifics is, is, is action. Okay? That's right. Going out in, uh, on the highways and hedges. Okay, the scriptures say that uh, uh, your teachers won't be put in the corner anymore, but they will be seen. Okay? It also says we're supposed to go onto the gates of the nobles. We're supposed to study, fast, pray. There's a list of things that we're supposed to do once you come to this truth. But these things are uh, not only to perfect us, but also to prove our faith by works. Okay? We have to come into the sheepfold a certain way. We can't come in another way, man. Everything. Right. Let, what's the scripture say? Let all things be done decently and in order? Yeah. It also says a false balance is an abomination. Yahweh yeah, Shema Shai is all about order, man. God. You know, and as you and to your point, bro, as you just made mention of, uh, we have to come through that sheepfold. That's like unto unto the straight gate, right? Okay. Uh, in the book of uh, 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 Ezra, in the apocrypha, it uh, lets you know about that straight gate. Well, uh, on one side is uh, uh, water, uh, and on the other side is fire. Right. And the, the, the path in between is only big enough for one man to tread uh, at a time. That's right. You know, and that's the way that uh, leads unto life everlasting. But the, the main point I wanted was in uh, verse 5. I'll read it again. 2 Timothy 2 and 5. It says, And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. lawfully. So if we strive for the masteries of the scriptures, okay, then we're going to get crowned because we're being obedient to, to, to our mission. But we have to do it a certain way. It has to be lawfully. That's right. You know? All right, you can jump to uh, James 1 and 12. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12, which reads, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. See, and that's the point, and uh, uh, speaking to the brother point, uh, when he just brought out about uh, striving uh, uh, for the masteries, man, doing it lawfully, you know? That's a, a, a hand in hand with enduring temptations, man. Because if you're uh, striving for uh, something lawfully in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem uh you're enduring that uh, that road that is paved out uh, uh, before you, man. And that could that's, and that's that's a, a turbulent road, man. Right. You know, there's only there's only uh, one way to uh, go about uh, uh, reaching your, your objective, man. And that's to do things uh, uh, lawfully, man. You know, Lord willing, you know, that that makes sense. But I'm saying that to say this, that there's no way around it, man. There's no way around. There's no other way to get in that crown. OK, except by way of, of the straight gate. OK, uh, got a precept. Oh, yeah. This is the book of First Peter, chapter five, beginning at uh, verse two. OK, and the headline above verse five, five reads instructions for spiritual leaders. OK reiterating the point that there's a specific way we're supposed to go about this thing man. and if i may interject real quick because it's beautiful that the title reads that for spiritual leaders because these crowns are set for for the leaders of our nation man okay uh, in, uh more specifically the 144,000, the uh, governing body uh of our nation man underneath yahweh shah hamashayah underneath the most high yahweh man that's right okay so this is instructions for those who are striving to be a part of that number, man. 
This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, beginning of verse 2. It says, Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, but as in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And uh, the reason I wanted to bring this out is it's highlighting the way that we're supposed to be when we come to our people. You know, uh, I'll read it again. It says, uh, taking the oversight oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. Okay, we have to be uh, ready and willing to go out and do the work that has been tasked to us. Because we've all been given an unction to teach. And we've received this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, by, by, by the apostles and elders, a uh, uh, great millstone. Through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shemashai, by the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. Okay, we, we receive this information to go out and, and teach our people, not to sit on it or to lord over it. Okay, we're supposed to be cheerful when we come in this thing and be of a ready mind. Okay, do the scriptures not say that we are to desire to prophesy? And prophesy meaning uh, to say before. All we're supposed to do is just read what was written here, and the instructions are here, man. We're not coming out of our own mind and own vain opinion. We're reading the words of Yahweh by Shimei Hashai. Continuing on, it says, "Not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind." Okay, we're not doing this for, for uh, 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 to, to get uh, the money or, or, or to gain riches of this world. As the scriptures say, that that moth and rust doth corrupt. We're fighting for something eternal, you know, something something way more glorious than the monetary value of the things of this world that's going to be wiped away. All right, because we're coming in the mindset. Uh, why are we going to build here when this place is destined to be destroyed, man? That's right. And uh, verse 4 is beautiful. It says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, that chief shepherd, shepherd being Yahweh Shai, when he shall appear, it says, Ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. So that incorruptible crown is awaiting those that do this work in truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, us you know, doing this work here, we're counted amongst that holy number. You know, because that's part of the fear of the Lord itself. It's being obedient to what he said to do with the knowledge we're given, man. Read that last part again, bro. Come on, this is uh, the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, uh, or, or chapter 5, verse 4. It says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And that chief shepherd is uh, Yahweh Shai himself, right? Right? And he's going to give you a crown that shall not fade away, right? Because he's going to uh, place that crown on your head himself. Um, and I wanted to pull this precept in the book of Second Ezra that, uh, that proves that. Uh, one second as I find the uh, exact precept. Okay, Second Ezra chapter 2, beginning at verse 42. It says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number. They all praised the Lord with songs, and in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. Okay, and this is going into Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Mm -hmm. All right, it says, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. He can speak. Okay, yeah, that's talking about Yahweh Shai and all of his glory, but that's that, that's talking about the the cere ceremony, the. Uh, the coronation, if you will, of the governing body, the 144,000. They're literally going to receive their own custom heavenly crown of rulership from the hands of Yahweh Shai. And who wouldn't want to fight for that? Okay? To be a position of, uh, of power and authority under under the Savior? You know? Because that, that that's going to be a, a position that nobody in the kingdom is ever going to be able to usurp over you. Okay? When we're in the kingdom, you know, after another four years, they're not going to have a, 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 a vote to see who the next 144,000 is going to be, you know, in terms of rulership. That's a position that has already been predestined and set. Okay, those are the real superstars of the kingdom. The real uh, uh, saviors of our nation, if you will. Okay, uh, as it says in uh, Obadiah 1 and 21, saviors shall come out of the Mount of Zion. That's plural, man. Beginning with the, 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 uh, the only begotten son, of course. But That's we're right. fighting to be a part of that governing body. To rule and to judge in righteousness, man. That's right. And what did they do to receive these crowns? I'm going to uh, read on real quick. Verse 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? 
He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing. Mm -hmm. And in order to put off that mortal clothing, they they had to uh, deny themselves here on the earth. Right. By bearing the cross daily and walking after the Messiah, man. And put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. Now are they crowned and receive palms, meaning uh, victory. Right. Okay. It's got a precept. This is uh, the book of 2 Timothy uh, 4, beginning at verse 7. It says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Okay, that, that, that's a promise, man. And we look forward to that. Okay, but we have a job to do on this side first, you know. But if we stay the course and endure until the end, we could be among those men that are going to be crowned to glory, man. You jump to No, no, that's it. Jump to Revelation 2 and 10. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. And this is red letter, the words of Yahweh Shai, and it reads, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall, shall cast some of you into prison, it, that ye may be tried. Okay, and uh, we're coming into the time uh, of Jacob's trouble. Okay? We'll, uh, a lot of us will be uh, uh, on the run to, to, to escape the society so we won't be uh, entangled in this uh, uh, technocracy. Okay? With this uh, devil, this Edomite, trying to implement his... Uh, you know, RFID, you know, and uh, some of us will be apprehended, casted into prison, but as the scripture said, uh, that that's only going to serve the purpose of uh, testing you, you know, go ahead, bro. It says, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Ten days, a, a perfect amount of uh, uh, days, okay, whether it be ten actual days, it could be a week, it could be a month, but it would be a, a perfect amount for a uh, 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 the trying of your spirit. That's right. It says, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, be faithful even if uh, death is required of you, man. Okay? Because the Heavenly Father, uh, through His only begotten Son, He has a great reward uh, for you. And as, as the scriptures just said out of Yahweh Shai's own mouth, he, he will give you the, uh, the crown of life, man. Okay? And uh, what couples that is a, uh, a new body, man. You know? You will be first to be on, on, on the chariot when he makes his uh, uh, second avenue. That's right. You know, into this realm. Go ahead, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. the point on that scripture. Right? Okay. Uh, so that was pretty sad. Matthew 10, 22. Okay, this is the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. Okay. Because we can't escape. Um, if you're called to be uh, in these last days to be a, a prophet, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, uh, you can't escape persecution, man. That's right. And, and you will be hated uh, uh, for it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 22, red letter, the words of Yahweh Shai. And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. Okay, and then that salvation, okay, from uh, uh, the nuclear destruction here in Babylon the Great, okay, uh, uh, ultimately, but we also will be uh, saved from the hour of temptation as well. That's right. You know? Okay, because those of you who are who are prophets here in these last days, who, who have the spirit of prophecy upon you, uh, it's a big deal, man, to, uh, in, in, in the sight of these uh, of these heathens, uh, beginning with uh, the actual other nations and uh, two-thirds of our people, man. Right. It's, it's a big deal to them. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's a, a, a vexation uh, to their spirit. Because we're, we're preaching a, a, a righteous message, uh, excuse me, a, a righteous message, okay? And uh, uh, in this righteous message, we were, we're talking about the downfall uh, of their uh, society, man, okay? And we will be hated for that. That's right. Okay? But that comes with bearing your cross, okay? Uh, uh, bearing your cross uh, 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 deals with being hated uh, for, for the gospel's sake, uh, for, for, for the preaching of Yahweh Shai's sake, Okay? But as he, as he, as the Lord said again, but if you do endure until the end, you will be saved, man. Okay, so 
if you don't bear your cross, you you will, will not receive a crown, man. That's right. Okay? There's no way around it. Didn't right. How should I say that we shall surely drink of the same cup as him? None of us has suffered on the blood or persecution as our, our Lord and Savior has. But there's a, there are going to be martyrs of us, That's right. you know, in this time to come. So we, we have to really prepare our minds for what we're about to see and experience. But ultimately keep that faith that Yahweh Hashem Hashai is going to look after us, man. Right. And we will endure until the end because it is written. That's right. That's the point. Hey, so once again, uh, uh, no cross, no crown, man. So uh, Lord willing, that was an edifying and exhorting lesson uh, to the hopeful elect. We'd like to close by giving all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Once again, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That's right. And uh, peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, wherever you may be. Shalom. Shalom.